Hey guys, it's Ricky from Gamers International and today I'm going to show you all how to repair any Sony Xperia smartphone that you may be having a problem with whether it's boot looping, refuses to boot or whatever the case may be. Hold on to your seats as we get started. Okay guys, so today we're going to be using and demonstrating on a Sony Xperia Play. So this is a device that is boot looping and refuses to boot. So if your device is in a boot loop, refuses to boot or just won't power on, but you still see LED indicators stating uh, the device state or condition, I'm going to explain to you what those mean and how you could get your phone back up and running okay so firstly you want to turn your device off if, if your device is on and once you have powered off your device uh, if you try pressing the power button and it just won't pull off you need to pull the battery alright so once you have pulled the battery you put it back in and for this job you need to have a data cable a USB data cable that is connected to your PC also you need to get if you have them already downloaded you need to have the Sony the Sony PC companion software I'd be putting the link in the description below so you can download it from from that link the file size is 26.4 MB so it's not that large to download so once it's finished downloading you need to install that software after installing the software ensure that your device and your cable is not plugged in together next you want to open the sony pc companion software so once the software is opened you are now going to hold the back button on the xperia smartphone and while holding that button you are going to place the usb into the port Now notice that the green LED appears and as the green LED appears you look on to your the software and the first thing you need to do is click start under support zone new. Once you open a device for the first time you will have a small 2 megabyte file to download. So now that you have downloaded the small uh, software, what you're going to do with your phone connected, you're going to choose, uh, you would see the option phone, tablet, software update. You're going to choose that option and you're going to hit start. Once that option is clicked, they would tell you that you could not find phone or tablet. You'd see a little option over here that states to repair my phone or tablet. You're going to click that. So after clicking that, you come up to this window that states in the event of such activity, your personal data such as your pictures uh, on your phone memory or anything on the in internal storage will be lost and your contacts and messages will be lost as well. So it's just a small price to pay to have your phone back up and running nothing from your SD card would be infected so once you're once you're confirmed that you want to repair your phone go ahead and hit continue and now this is the warning that they are letting you know that your personal data will be lost to check this little button here if you approve and then hit next so once you hit next the software would now be downloaded onto your computer and then be processed onto your phone so please ensure to leave your device connected at any point in time if your device ends up being disconnected and your phone attempts to boot or it just goes blank you can reconnect the device using the method that I showed you earlier so now that that is finished we are in the preparation so remember this guide can be used for any 
Sony or Sony Ericsson Xperia devices on this list over here what you're gonna do you're gonna scroll down and look for your device I am demonstrating on the Xperia Play R800 so I will select that and hit next once I have done so the would ask you to connect your phone into the boot loader mode or the flash mode right so to connect your phone in the set mode what you're gonna do you're gonna take the phone ensure that it is turned off and when the phone is turned off you press and you hold the back button and insert the USB so I'm just gonna put this in here now right once I jack it in the little light on the phone and the indicator comes up and on the PC they will let you know that your device is being updated and that's it the USB out of the phone you go ahead and attempt to boot the phone the first boot normally takes the longest but I would fast forward so okay guys so we see that the phone has been booted up All right so now you could go ahead and you could start using your phone like normal again all right you will have to download back all of your apps and everything works great all I ask of you is to like subscribe and if you have any comments or anything like that you could just comment below and I will respond to you whatever problems you're having alright so hit us up on Facebook and check all of the links in the description alright guys so that was my video thank you all so much for watching this was Ricky from Gamers International saying thank you for all of your support